The group before me that were uh, working with the house, they were the Century Club, the local group of great local ladies. They were already um, in possession of a quilt square. Steve Lamont helped us hang it. Chris Pollock and Ruth Veely, they painted it out in our carriage house. It is representative of the quilt that's just behind me, the North Wind, and it's been nothing but a, a treasure for us. And I would say that the exposure that we're getting from the Quilt Barn Trail has been tremendous. People love having the little maps in hand and, and going around and discovering them for themselves and getting to see them and they take pictures. And even when we're not here, I get reports that people have been and are snapping selfies, maybe not selfies, but <laughs> snapping shots of, of the quilt squares. Having been a Middleburg resident, seeing the flood, seeing what the businesses went through, the school, which is located just a tenth of a mile from the best house, suffered millions of dollars worth of damage. And just up the road from the best house suffered so much damage. And the best house, God willing, um, was fine. We came out with, with no damage at all, which is, which is a huge blessing for us. After the flood, seeing things just kind of revitalize and, and really taking stock in your community and, and seeing how people were working together. Yes, I, I would say that that represents a big chunk of the health of the area and the quilt blocks were certainly part of that.